What's happening guys? Today I'm going to be giving you my college skincare routine in under three minutes. First off, I'm gonna be brushing my teeth real quick. Nighttime routine included. All right guys, so I keep my skincare routine pretty simple. As a college student, you don't have a ton of time to have an extensive skincare routine when you're going to class or getting ready for bed. So the main two things I use are a daily cleanser and an exfoliating scrub. Basically a daily cleanser is just something with a mild foaming cleanser that isn't really too harsh for your skin. The type of wash that you should get really depends on the type of skin you have, whether it's usually oily or dry. So if you haven't already, go talk to a dermatologist or go to your local pharmacy to see if they can recommend any products. This is one I got from The Face Shop, which is a Korean brand. And this just works well because I have Korean skin obviously so the formula is suited a little bit better and then with this exfoliating brush I will usually do it once a week maybe once or twice a week to just get rid of dead skin excess skin cells that are just kind of growing on your face and it isn't good for new skin and healthier skin to grow With the spin brush, you want to try and get in the pore that you normally don't get to. So around the chin, in the nose, your forehead gets a lot of bacteria up there. Places where you sweat a lot, you want to just get rid of all that. Next up, what I will usually do now that I've washed my face is use my tweezers to pluck out any unibrows around the eyebrows. This is an essential tip for guys and girls. Don't be going around with bushy eyebrows. No one thinks that's attractive. So these are gonna be a must have in any college kids toolkit. Finally, we're going to be ending with the face mask. This is essential for any type of skincare routine. The daily moisturizer that you're going to be used won't provide enough nutrients or hydration for your skin. So having some kind of alternative like a face mask is a great way. To keep your skin well treated. It's just going to help you get rid of your acne, scars, reddening. They're super affordable. You can really get them at any pharmacy. I recommend going to some Korean shops because Korean skincare routine is always bomb. And guys, like anyone that tells you that face masks are girly or not masculine. It's 2019, fellas. We gotta be off our toxic masculinity game. So I highly recommend doing them probably once every few weeks or so, maybe twice a month. Doing them with your friends, going on a little spa day. Ain't nothing wrong with that, you know what I'm saying? Should this be the thumbnail? Finally guys, we are going to end it with toner and lotion. These are pretty simple once again from the face shop. Toner is pretty essential as well for any skincare routine. It just kind of hydrates your skin before putting on a moisturizer. To be honest, if you only had to pick one, I would probably go with the moisturizer just because it's more versatile. Next up, we have this Persa Gel from Clean & Clear. This is basically Benozyl peroxide, it's very simple to use. You put it where you have any scars or pimples coming up overnight, you can just sleep with it on. Luckily I don't have too many blemishes right now, but it has been finals week, so you know that that stress has been there. Now every few weeks or so, I like to do a blackhead strip. This just removes all the blackheads that are in your clogged pores of your nose. The nose is honestly one of the most oily areas, so doing this every once in a while is really good to clear those out. Lastly, I read online that this helps if you have any acne scars like I do on my cheeks, putting a little bit of Vaseline on them. Um, just helps them heal overnight because you don't have to worry about them. Obviously your lips, you want to be moisturizing them as much as possible. So every morning and night, I put a little bit of Vaseline on them. And yeah guys, that about wraps it up for this college skincare routine. I hope that this was helpful and that you guys were able to get something out of it. As always guys, comment down below if you enjoyed, like for more videos, and let's build.